Venkat Palais, co-founder and CEO with LC60. Thanks once again for joining us on Australia in Space TV here at the Indo-Pacific Robotics, Autonomy, AI and Cyber Conference in Perth. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Chris. Venkat, uh, we've, yes. yeah, we have done our interviews before, uh, yes, previously in Malaysia uh, as well, but it's great to be here in Perth. Mm. Uh, and also on the back of IAC uh, yes. in Sydney just last week. Uh, maybe some early takeaways from IPRAC, uh, but also we want to cover off on some of the amazing announcements that you've had, even mm. starting at IAC in Sydney last week. Yeah, yeah. So, so first of all, thanks for having me at IPRAC. It's been a really good two days of uh, conferences, discussions, um, you know, obviously being based here in Perth. Uh, we know some of the participants at IPRAC, but it's always nice to meet new faces, have new interesting conversations. I think what's exciting about this year, if I may, is the breadth of end users that you've brought to this conference. It's great to see folks from agriculture, from defense. Um, potentially we might walk away with uh, with an extra client or two. Nice. The fingers crossed, that would be good. Well, we saw, yeah, we saw uh, sort of agreements being made in the room during the, during the session. So yes, it's been very good interaction. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we, there was a number of announcements made and there was even one uh, just yesterday as well. But yeah, maybe go through sequentially uh, from Sydney, just some of your activities and, and new agreements that you've had over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so it's been a great sort of week plus starting off in uh, IAC last week where we uh, announced a number of key partnerships and also projects that we've launched. So in, in, in order of uh, what we announced, the first was actually our participation with uh, Spiral Blue, a company based in Sydney, New South Wales, that's actually got a $3 million grant, uh, CRCP grant, to develop a LiDAR satellite from space. Actually, this will nice. be very world leading uh, coming out of Australia. And we were actually excited to be part of that venture uh, to actually build very custom analytics modules for Spiral Blue to run on board the satellite and on the ground. So it's an ex a very exciting next three years worth of development that we're going to be involved with Wonderful. as their partner. So that was the first announcement. Then we actually had a string of MOUs that we announced uh, for partners that are actually going to contribute to our SWIR sat satellites. So if you recall from previous interviews, you're putting up two satellites for high resolution methane and CO2 monitoring from space. Yes. And these two satellites are supported by the Australian Space Agency and the West Australian government. Uh, so we've brought on a couple of international partners uh, and Australian partners to help us out. The first one's an Australian partner, they're based in Canberra. They built very interesting avionics, they're called Infinity Avionics okay. actually, uh, and they focus on electronics for space. Uh, so they're going to help us build some of the next gen uh, sensor equipment that we'll need for SWIRSAT. And we've also partnered with a Singaporean company called Transcelestial. Yes, we're uh, Transcelestial. And you do? Uh, yeah, so they're doing amazing work in optical space to space and space to ground links. And excitingly, they're setting up a presence in Western Australia. Yes, and great. so we're actually working with them now here in Western Australia to put their terminals on board our SWIRSAT satellites, make them optical ready. Wonderful. So, and, yes. and recently, just this week here at IPRAC? At IPRAC, we had a really um, strategic announcement with a Luxembourg-based company called OQ Technology. So OQ Technology uh, are actually one of the pioneers in direct-to-device connectivity alongside the likes of Starlink and others. But they've really pioneered the use of uh, novel uh, spectrum that actually en enables devices and, and handhelds to be all connected together. And they've got 10 satellites in orbit today right. doing that and they're fast expanding. So we saw the opportunity here in Perth where we've got a number of large resource companies that could leverage that capability alongside the insights that we provide and we're stronger together. So we saw that as being a really good partnership Plus, the Australian Space Agency and the Luxembourg Space Agency is encouraging that yes. collaboration. So we thought it would be a good segue to make that um, first step, if you'd like, between Australia and Luxembourg to make this part. Well, and I saw your session yesterday, uh, and you're you know you're a vertically integrated space company now. Yes. Uh, I suppose this is where a lot of these partnerships are coming from. It's so yes. both up, upstream and for payloads, and downstream as well. Yes. Uh, I suppose how how is it all going, and maybe what's the immediate roadmap for you? Yeah, so that's actually um, a really good observation. That vertically integrated piece. Uh, requires us to partner because um, as a as a fast growing enterprise, obviously we're not at the state the end state where we could own all of this ourselves. Yes. So smart partnerships like what we've just announced is a really good way of getting there. But having that 
pipeline of partners enables us to provide a differentiated solution compared to some of the larger primes in, and um, space companies that are out there, particularly in verticals like agriculture, in mining or oil and gas, where the client just wants a complete end-to-end -end solution. They don't want to work with five to ten different vendors. So what's interesting for us is with the partnerships that we've announced, we can actually enhance some of the work we're doing in Malaysia, for example, with the Rice and Grain Agency there. We're also trying to pick up new contracts in uh, the UAE, in Saudi Arabia, in um, even here in Australia with uh, Inpex and, and others where we are already working on pilot programs together. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, look, continue to be one to watch. Uh, yes. We'll continue to, and thank you uh, for your national partnership as well. So it's really, as you say, it's getting that outreach and getting the message out there for both partners and for customers, more importantly uh, for those clients that come through. Yes. Uh, I suppose, how can they find out more? And I suppose you're in, you've got offices in here in Perth and also in Malaysia, yes. but you've also opened up in Dubai. Yes, so, so we've got offices now in yeah three continents. So yeah. We've got Perth here where we're headquartered. We've got a subsidiary office in Malaysia and we've now got a subsidiary office in Abu Dhabi in the UAE. Uh, so yeah, three we, we are across three continents. You can find us on latconnect60.com or lc60.ai, whichever you'd prefer to search. And um, yeah, we're also on LinkedIn. You can follow our LinkedIn Wonderful. page. Well, look, as I said, it's a story to keep up with. I think one of the things on our channels is just keep those announcements coming, Ben yes, Cat. Yes. But keep up the good work. Great to have the team here, or even from Malaysia here yes, in Perth both, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but thanks for joining us again on Australia in Space TV. Thanks for having me, Chris.